there is a new fabric item called copy job that simplifies data ingestion with built-in patterns for batch and incremental copy, eliminating the need for pipeline creation. This is for people who find it difficult to learn data factory and create data pipelines. This simplifies the overall ingestion experience. Let's quickly have a look. This is my fabric workspace and we will go and create a new item. You can see in get data the first act, uh, item that appears is called copy job. There are multiple items that you can use to do your uh, data load. For this demo we will be using the copy job. Let's give it a name. Click create. This will pop up a GUI based tool. So the experience is quite simple, so it should be very easy to go. These are all the sources that you can ingest from. We will be doing a CSV load from our uh, Azure storage account. We will need the DFS endpoint of our storage account. This is my storage account and this currency.csv is what we are going to ingest. Let's go to the settings and endpoints and if you scroll down you will see the data lake storage endpoint. Copy that and paste it here. For the connection it is trying to use the previous connection which was via a C uh, access key. Let's change that. You can use, you know, the there are different ways of authentication. For this, I will use the organization account. That is my Entra account. That has got, got all the permissions on the storage account to fetch the data. We have our data in the raw container. So let's go into that. And currency.csv is what we are interested in. Now it's all about selecting and you know uh, selecting the data that you want. So these are the two formats that's available CSV or the delimited text or a parquet. Once you are happy with it click next. Now you need to select your destination. We will be ingesting this into our bronze uh, lake house. So let's select that and we'll be using the one in our dev workspace, which is the second one. If you see the location, that's where you will uh, be able to identify which workspace it sits in. So if you have same named lake houses, that's how you will identify. Now we need to map to destination. This is where you will do the table mapping. There, are, there is other option to drop it as a CSV file as in as a file, but we want to ingest it as a table or delta table. You can change the name of the table that will uh, be created in your destination. So if you want to add some uh, suffix or prefix, you can do that. We will do it currency underscore data. Let's go and edit our columns now. You can do that as well. So you can customize the column names or the column types. We will let it be as is for now and click next. Copy job mode. Uh, this setting is where you will get the option to either do a full copy, an incremental copy or a stream copy. In our case, this is a CSV file and we want to load it completely. We'll do a full load. In our next video, we will be doing something of sort uh, from a SQL Server database and we'll do an incremental copy. But for now, let's select full copy and click next. Now this is the summary. You can have a look and you can see we have checked the start data transfer immediately. So save and it will run. Let's have a look. It is currently in progress as you can see you can see the status is queued it should not take long because the CSV file is quite small let's have let's wait for some time you can see the source to destination the source is 
the raw container and the csv file and the destination is currency underscore data and now you can see it has completed successfully the rows read and rows written in 23 seconds let's try to query that in our lake house let's go to bronze this is where we have our lake house You can see it has loaded something but it's unidentified just quickly do a refresh and it starts to pop up currency underscore data and yeah so all the data is now in we can see total 163 records inserted so the copy job has done the job <laughs> and you can go to the SQL endpoint to query the same data so if you are someone who uses SQL to do all the queries, you can just switch to the SQL experience or the SQL endpoint, go to the table and you can basically do a select top 100. And that's it, the data is in. Let's quickly go back to our copy job and see all the options that's available after the job is created. This gear icon on top is the settings, the name, the uh, endorsement, the tags, and the schedule. If you want to schedule this copy job, you can do it from here. Next is run. So if you click on this, it will just run this copy job, which we'll do in some time. Uh, next is choose data. This is where you can select your source data or you know the data source when it's a sql uh, source you can add multiple tables in this case we don't want to do anything so we can just go back so now you can do edit mappings if you want to change anything uh, if you want to change the name of your table or the column names or anything you can do that from here advanced settings this is where you have your update method if you want an append or an overwrite we would like an overwrite and we will run this again to make sure that we are not having duplicate records and this is the recent run so now we our have our advanced settings as overwrite an update method as overwrite we can go ahead and run it again once this is run, we'll go uh, and check the SQL endpoint for the count star to see the total records. It should still remain 163. This takes around 20 seconds to load. That is done. Let's go back to our SQL endpoint and do a select count star. Let's run that and it should give us 163. So that's it. That's how you use copy job to ingest files from a storage account into your lake house as a delta table. You can just use the same uh, wizard and you will be able to ingest all the supported uh, data sources without any problem. If you face any problem, do let me know and we will fix it together. Thanks for watching and keep supporting.